Um, well, with this, I've been doing a few like sculptural pieces where eventually I want to have, you know, complete every step between like a sculptural and, and a painting on a wall. And these are stretched, um, the stretched canvas over tree limbs that I put together. And i uh, got a number of things, a lot of texture on this one. I mixed um, kind of a ground um, crystal similar to quartz called kyanite in with my gesso. And so it's a little bit sparkly when, when it's not covered with paint and that's what gives it the kind of grainy texture. I mean, I just like to play with um, experiment, you know, you know, the process, not knowing exactly what's going to come out, you know, is always very intriguing to me, um, like with the cracks and texture and like leaving bits of the open fabric behind and sometimes they'll stretch on different fabrics, you know, I've stretched on fleeces and corduroy and burlap and, you know, you name it, I'll, I'll try it at least once. <laughs> Well, as you know, just something to try again. Like with this, the first time I did it, I was just mowing the lawn and I just kept passing this tree branch, you know, every you know, every time I went around by the fence. And I was like, I want to make a frame out of that. And so I did that. And, you know, after a couple of years, you kind of build up a few of them with a body of work. And, you know, and I, and I like the relief where they're coming away from the wall at some points. And sometimes you can like peek behind there and try to figure out how it's made. And, get some different shadow and light play. And that's one thing I did with this one, like there's actually a piece back here to poke it out of the surface, another one here. That way it's not just flat, it's kind of coming up a little bit.